magnesium 2 plus so to test the presence of magnesium cation we will take magnesium sulfate as the inorganic compound and then dissolve in water to use the first test is the action of disodium hydrogen phosphate disodium hydrogen phosphate disodium hydrogen phosphate about 0.5 ml of magnesium sulfate solution is mixed with 0.5 ml of ammonium chloride solution and a slight excess of disodium hydrogen phosphate solution is added it is then made alkaline with ammonia solution then the surface of the liquid is rubbed with the glass rod a white crystal in precipitate is formed at the test tube it is formed at the test tubes so this is the action of disodium hydrogen phosphate kindly follow so this is the reactions this is due to the formation of magnesium ammonium phosphate so magnesium the correspondingly magnesium sulfate reacts with disodium hydrogen phosphate and ammonia we are getting magnesium ammonium sulfate plus sodium sulfate the magnesium ammonium sulfate is the uh, corresponding precipitate corresponding precipitate which confirm the presence of magnesium 2 plus ion confirm Okay. Next test, the test for magnesium cation. Here, the action of dihydrogen sodium phosphate we are going to use to one ml of this is the magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate. I am taken. Please follow. magnesium sulfate i have taken and i have made solution i have taken one ml to this one ml now we have to add that is uh, um, uh, the, the corresponding we have to add the ammonium chloride slightly ammonium chloride solutions and dihydrogen dihydrogen sodium phosphate Followed by alkali. So let me add one by one. So I will add now. So I have taken dilute solutions. Now I will add ammonium chloride, a few drops. Ammonium chloride, a few drops. I will add ammonium chloride. I will add a few drops. Yes, I add an ammonium chloride. Followed by sodium dihydrogen phosphate. Sodium dihydrogen phosphate. That is and disodium hydrogen phosphate solution. so we are getting this then if it should be then we have to make alkali by adding sodium hydroxide or ammonium hydroxide i can add ammonium hydroxide i can add ammonium hydroxide i will add then You are getting a precipitate, a white precipitate. Now, now we have to, we are getting a white precipitate. Now we have to scratch with the sides of the test tube. You will get the precipitate. It will be settled. Please follow. I am now doing. Just see the sides of the test tube. I am scratching. So when I am scratching the sides of the test tube, 
you can see at the bottom the solid is getting separated can you follow solid gets deposited at the bottom this is a proof for the corresponding magnesium